Welcome, this is Zon with Repo Products. Today's video is on how to use the plan region command in Revit. Here I am in Revit 2019. I have a situation where you've got a design of, say, a window that's placed higher than the other windows along a wall. If we go to the level one floor plan view, we can see that the cut plane is by default set to four feet. So if we head over to the view range, and click edit you'll see it says four feet because of this cut plane being at four feet you can't see that particular window you can see it if you highlight it by putting your mouse over it but you don't see it in general now you can either create the plan region here or in a particular user's case they wanted to enlarge that particular view so creating a callout view which is in the view tab of the ribbon and the callout command a callout was created which is nothing more than an enlarged plan in this enlarge plan, I have created a plan region already, which is what you see right here. So I'm going to delete it and draw it again so you can see what's going on. I'm going to turn off the crop region so you don't need to see the rest of that box. Head over to the View tab of the ribbon. Go, go over to the Create panel. Expand the plan views and choose Plan Region. When you do this, it goes into Sketch Mode. You draw what you need that represents the outside edges of the boundary of what you're dealing with. For example, this. When you're finished, go to the properties and you'll see view range right here. Click edit under view range. And this particular plan region has its own set of view range um, data. So just make sure that the cut plane is set um, such that it's cutting through that upper window. So the upper window, its sill height was set to five feet. So you don't see it in the typical overall plan view. So now that I've shifted this view range and set this to six feet, and hit apply and OK. As I finish the command for plan region, you're going to see the dashed lines show up, and you're going to see that that area has now has its own special cut plane. You can select the plan region and you can tweak and adjust it to the exact shape that you need or the size that you need, and that way it looks correct. And now you can see in plan view that you have that additional window. Uh, last thing I would probably do is uh, if you want to have a piece of text in an arrow that denotes this window is at a different sill height or some type of designation in the window schedule, you would want to do that. Otherwise, from a typical uh, floor plan view without anything visible, even if a plan region is hidden, you may not realize that that window here is being cut at a different uh, cut plane. And that's how you work with the plan region command. Thank you very much.